Coyotes Hockey on Fox Sports Arizona is brought to you by the UPS Store. We know logistics. And by Lone View Casino. Want to get rich? We've got an app for that at Wild Horse Pass Hotel and Casino. Play Million Dollar App Match every Sunday and Thursday, and you could win up to a million dollars cash. Todd Walsh back here at Jobbing.com Arena. The Coyotes and the Canadians coming up in just a bit on uh, Military Appreciation Night. And an interesting press release from the Coyotes today on uh, trying to send 17,000 heroes to games this year. I'll tell you about that a little bit later. Right now, though, let's get to Paul Sura and our national anthem. Petty Officer First Class Stephen Powell. Officer Powell has been active in the Navy for 20 years and is stationed at the Navy Recruiting District in Phoenix. And now, feel free to join in the singing of the U.S. National Anthem as performed by Petty Officer First Class Stephen Powell. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight last gleam broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the rampart we'd watch who were so gallantly streaming and the Ladies and gentlemen, Senator John McCain has a remarkable record of leadership and experience that embodies his unwavering lifetime commitment of service to his country. Senator McCain attended college at the United States Naval Academy and launched a 22-year career as a naval aviator upon his graduation. His naval honors include the Silver Star, Bronze Star, Legion of Merit, Purple Heart, and the Distinguished Flying Cross. He was first elected to the U.S. House of Representatives from Arizona in 1982 and became senator in 1986. Representing the values of duty, honor, and service of our country reflected in all veterans, please welcome Senator John McCain. We have Captains Brian Gianta and Shane Doan to center ice, please. Ladies and gentlemen, Senator John McCain. Well, what a military hero there, John McCain. Uh, Todd, what a what a backdrop to this big game here tonight. Yeah, no, no doubt about it, guys. We'll get back upstairs to you in just a second. There is something, though, I'd like to share with you, and I think it applies here tonight as well with the energy in the building and the crowd, something we saw on Saturday night. The word I kept hearing was uh, entertainment when I talked to players after the game against the Edmonton Oilers, 13,000-plus in attendance, great skill, great pace. I want to show you a quote from Adrian Coyne. 
I asked him about the energy on Saturday night. He said, I felt it. It's such a melting pot here in the Valley. Everybody has their own team and people visiting. We just love having people in the building and having fun. That's, uh, that's my new stump speech. I talked about that on opening night against the Winnipeg Jets. Don't care who's in the building as long as they're here, Matt. We'll see what unfolds here tonight because it is going to be a big crowd here at Jobbing.com Arena, and it's the final home game for the Phoenix Coyotes before heading off on a five-game roadie that'll go coast-to-coast. Coast. So, uh, Tyson, if you're the Coyotes, bank the two points here tonight and finish the homestand on a good note. Well, this is huge. This is a nightmare of a road trip for this team coming up. That's why you have to take care of business at home, Matt. Be played by Korpakoski, and he'll set it around into the right wing corner. That's where Klus will send behind the net. Gordon tried to get it in front, and that's taken away. And out of the zone, Thomas Plakanitz, and he'll dump one all the way back in. Quick change for the shorthanded Montreal Canadiens, uh, playing without Camilleri and Kostitsin as we take a look at the goaltenders here tonight at Jobbing.com Arena. And Tyson, Mike Smith has been terrific. Well, we've talked about Mike Smith and the job he's done, and a lot of questions coming into this year. No Gala, Mike Smith comes in, a Dave Tippett boy in Dallas, and he has answered those questions. His teammates love him. They want to win for him. He has been an unbelievable goaltender between the pipes for the Coyotes. Face-off going to be to the right of Carey Price. One, Yandel looks around, he takes a shot. Oh, and that got through, but just wide to the right of Carey Price. Dumped in front, Bodker tried to get a shot away. Good keep by Morris. And now Yandel will try to set it up, but it's taken away, and P.K. Subban will get it out. Well, I like that play there by Yandel, the original one on the shot, traffic. You win the face-off, you get the puck back to the point, you get bodies in front. Big Pyatt right there on the doorstep in front of Carey Price and get those shots through. Play to the corner, Palusha will try to get one in front. He's one of the University of Michigan products on this uh, team. As it's played in behind the net, and Keith Yandel will try to move it out. He does, right back through center for Mike, uh, Mikel Bodker, and he'll dump one in. Giving chase behind the net, Cal O'Reilly. Well, first look at O'Reilly here on Fox Sports Arizona. Now Pyatt tried to get it in front of the rebound over the top of the net. Oh, Riley was right there, and a rebound again, this time Pyatt. And it's going to be taken away by Lars Eller, and it's cleared all the way back to center. Oh, Riley, he's a passer. He loves to set up plays, very skilled and sneaky. You're playing with O'Reilly, you better be ready at all times, because that puck will end up on your stick. Martin Hansel back in the lineup. He'll take the puck into the left wing corner as he leaves it there for Whitney. Oliver Ackman Larson will send one in behind the net. Opening minutes here in the opening 20 on Military Heroes Appreciation Night. We already had the ceremonial puck drop from Senator John McCain as we get a whistle here and an offside. Uh, and here's Big Taylor Pyatt, big power forward, taking that puck to the net. O'Reilly there for that second opportunity. And I like what the Coyotes have done already, getting a lot of work for Carey Price. If you look at Carey Price's numbers there, the cousin of our own, Shane Doan. Well, let's see, it'll be a family battle here tonight. Played right back in, and Rafi Torres will play in behind the net. Sending it around there for O'Sullivan, who plays the right wing here tonight on the line with, with Torres. Well, a shot taken that time is blocked away, and the Canadians counter quickly. They do that very, very well. Eric Cole can't advance. And so now it'll be played by Yandel. Out of the zone, flipping it back to center ice. We're back it over the line that time for O'Sullivan, who will give off into the corner for Chipchura. Played in behind the net, trying to move it along as Jaro Spacek. And the Canadians will get it all the way back to center ice. Oh, this is important, Matt. Everyone getting involved here early in this hockey game. All four lines in that rotation. They get the legs going. Big crowd here at Jobbing.com Arena. It's nice to get involved. No penalties. As we take a look at the flashback here, Shane Doan on Carey Price. We mentioned his cousin. That's one. And here comes number two, picking up the garbage. Now one here uh, in Phoenix, the other one uh, scored up in Montreal. And Shane Doan would love to get on the board here tonight, cousin or not. Four games without a point for the big captain. Well, we talked about it in the uh, pregame show with Todd Walsh, how important it is to jump out to a lead because then you can dictate the game. And the Coyotes are 6-0-2 when they score the first goal of the hockey game. 
That is uh, 14 of a possible 16 points. And it has been a hallmark to their success. As this one is flipped all the way back in, Mike Smith will play in behind the net and a shift change on for the Canadians. And the Montreal Canadiens coming off a loss against the Edmonton Oilers. You know they're going to be hungry here tonight. Traveled a long way to get here. They're prepared for this hockey game. Into the corner now, Boyd Gordon will work it down low. And a bit of a strange road trip for the Canadians, which will wrap up just a two gamer that'll wrap on Saturday night in Nashville. A long way to come back and forth. Yeah, just a couple of games. That is no easy road trip. As you mentioned, they have not got off to the start that they wanted. The Montreal Canadiens, they're looking for a W here tonight. Well, they wave off the icing and Subban will move it along for Darsh on the left wing and that's batted away by Smith. Good to see Mike Smith too, Tyson uh, nationally uh, starting to get some notoriety with his, his start here for the Coyotes. Well, I would hope so. He's made some noise here. He's made some friends on this hockey club as well. We talked about him being a great goaltender, but more importantly, just a great teammate. These guys want to play for him. They want to win. And behind the net, it'll be set up by Hansel. Bit of a pull-up move there, and this one will go past Josh Georges and all the way back down. Coyotes trying to beat the Canadians for the first time since 1998. And the team was downtown. Derek Morris will flip it along for Keith Yandel. And uh, we say that, uh, although we also have to point out to Tyson that these two teams just don't see a lot of one another. As this one has floated to the middle, Yandel tried to get a shot away. He was handcuffed that time, and now Yandel gets it right back before it goes all the way back through center. No, they don't, Matt. And another thing, in the last two years, this Phoenix Coyotes team has changed a lot under the coaching of Dave Tippett. I expect a lot different outcome here tonight. Spotcheck lost it. O'Reilly behind the net. Gave it to Pyatt in front, and a shot just wide of the mark that time by Mikel Bodker. Now Bodker to the front. He scores! Mikel Bodker, and he's given the Coyotes a one to nothing lead. Just a matter of time. The Phoenix Coyotes pressure the four check. And we talked about him. Cal O'Reilly, there's Big Pyatt forcing Carey Price to turn that puck over. Pyatt on the four check. O'Reilly as well involved. And there's Bodker right there on the doorstep. Puts it far side. And that is a beauty. And that is a guy that the Phoenix Coyotes want to get going. Mikel Bodker, only one point in his last 10 games, gets on the board here early. 5.43, the time of the goal, the opening goal of the hockey game, but back come the Canadians. Plakanitz will flip it into the corner. Second of the season for Bodker from Pyatt and O'Reilly at 5.43. Good block out high that time of the defenseman. Oliver Ekman Larson and the puck has played all the way back. I thought that original pass was by O'Reilly, but it was Taylor Pyatt getting in on the four check. A little help from O'Reilly. He gets an assist as well. And we talked about the Coyotes, how they play with the lead, the importance of not chasing the hockey game. And they have dominated this first seven minutes. Eric Cole over the line. Glove save, Smith. Oh, low glove save by Mike Smith. Meanwhile, Bodker has given the Coyotes the one nothing lead. Looking at Mike Smith, the pride of Kingston, Ontario, Canada, was a Patrick Waugh fan growing up, thus a Montreal fan until Waugh left for Colorado. How about Adrian Decoyne? Grew up in Ottawa before there were the Senators. He was a Gila Fur fan. Pattern his game after Larry Robinson, which brings us to our Taco Bell text poll. The most iconic franchise, the Cowboys, the Yankees, the Canadiens, or the Celtics? No surprise that I rooted for two of those teams, guys. Front runner that I am. Growing up. Well, yeah, four good ones, and you can uh, text your answer to 36929. You front runner. <laughs> Puck played all the way back. Hansel goes right after it. Now the Coyotes will move it into the corner where Verbata look to set it up. Hansel's going to chase one in behind the net. That's taken away, and the, the Canadians will get it out. They haven't had much uh, early on offensively, have they, have they, Tyson? No, not at all. I don't think the Zamboni. To this first period is going to need to flood the Phoenix County zone right now. It's been all Coyotes because of the four checking pressure. Played right back in over the line by Subban. 
And now Smith in behind the net. Looks to send it around, and this one over the glass and out of play. Tyson, what about the keys uh, to tonight's game against the Canadians? Well, we talked about this game tonight being a lot like the Edmonton Oilers. Fast, speedy, skilled forwards for the Montreal Canadiens. You need to bring the pain. Be physical. Every time they touch that puck, they need to pay a price and limit the turnovers. This is a, a very good transitional team, and the Montreal Canadiens very skilled, as I talked about. You can't give the puck up on those blue lines. Yeah, a lot of times they'll use their speed. The top two lines are pretty doggone good. When healthy, their defensemen will jump in as well. But, you know, when you talk to Dave Tippett about preparation, you know, he said, look, we had a couple of good practice days this week. It's the last of a segment of games. They look at games in segments, and this is the last one before the big trip. He said it's not all about Montreal's injury woes and their latest streak. He said, I'm worried about us here tonight. It's always about his team. Right about his own backyard, no question about it. He implements a system that's going to be able to beat this Montreal Canadiens team. And that's it. They need to execute, and they've done that more than not this season. Good start here. We're seven and three quarters minutes into the opening period and a 1-0 Coyotes lead thanks to the Mikel Bodker goal. Bouncing puck out high, and this one's going to be whacked away by Kleslin all the way up the ice. Good keep by Doan, forcing it all the way back, and Hal Gill will have to play it across. Through center for Travis Mullen and the former Duckle. Moving in on right wing, got it to the front, and they look for the deflection. Seeing more and more out of uh, the opposition trying to uh, get deflections in that high slot of uh, pass goaltender Mike Smith. And Hal Gill will set it up inside the Montreal blue line. Well, I think the Montreal Canadiens right now are talking about keeping that puck away from Mike Smith. Every time that puck gets in deep, Mike Smith makes a play like he does there. Teams have to pay attention and respect the stick handling and passing ability of Smith. He's like another defenseman. Byatt has it, and he'll bring it back into the corner. Now Bodker all over it. Sends behind the net for Pyatt. Now Pyatt looking to the front, and that's knocked away. Oh, good clearing attempt that time by the Canadians, Blunden. And it's moved right back where Max Pacioretty will get it in over the line. Pacioretty checked off the puck, but he gets it right back, and that's uh, deflected off a of skate. I mentioned Aaron Pelushai earlier, Tyson. Uh, Pacioretty also played at Michigan as a Wolverine, as Subban will give it off for Eric Cole, and that hit a body in front. And cleared all the way out. Well, Pacioretty trying to get his Montreal Canadiens fired up a little bit. Nice job sticking with that play. Good defensive play there by Bodker, but Pacioretty stays with it and gets another scoring chance. Played all the way back, and Carey Price down at the other end will set it up. And Day Arnay will move it out for Eric Cole on right wing. That played right back and over the line by Josh Georges, but we'll get a whistle and offside go the Canadians. Don't forget, when the Coyotes win, you win at Papa John's. After every Coyotes win, you can celebrate with 50% off your online order the next day at PapaJohns.com. All you have to do is type in the promo code COYOTES. Offer only available online on regular menu prices. I like the fact that they've been giving away a lot of half-off pieces, uh, Tyson. Oh, I know, you went missing in action at that <laughs> dollar buck bash they had the other night. <laughs> they call a missing persons report. Uh-huh. Over the line. Out of the corner. Moved along there by the former Coyote Nukalainen, but it's turned the other way. And out of the zone, flipped right back by Kyle Chipcher and deep inside the Canadian zone. So both teams will go for shift changes here with under nine or under ten minutes remaining in our opening 20. Played along. Right back and over the line to the front. Lars Eller blocker saved that time by Mike Smith. Took a whack that time, slow to get up. Well, they work it into the corner this time. Subban will work it behind the net, but Redeem Verbat is there. He'll, he'll try to take it away. Can't get it past Eller. And that's set in. Lars Eller with a couple of good looks. The former St. Louis Blue. This one is flipped but not out. Bad clearing attempt. Saban will give it off. Rink wide shot on and a stop there. Oh, bad clearing attempt, but Hansel, Whitney blew the zone, thinking Verbata was going to get, get that puck out. But the Coyotes cheating a little bit in their own zone. Dave Tippett will not be happy with that. Montreal is pouring on the pressure the last couple shifts. Looked all the way down the length of the ice that time by Alexei Emelin. 
And now out of the zone where Boyd Gordon will try to bring it right back in over the line, but he's in a one on one with Brian Gianta. Penalty coming up here. It comes in front and jamming away at it that time with Shane Doan, and we get the whistle. And it looks like a penalty against the Canadians. We'll check it when we come back. Welcome back, 1-0 Coyotes. Brian Gianta offer interference so the Coyotes' power play heads to the ice here at 11-16. Uh, it was just a hard-working shift there by Gordon, getting that puck in deep. Gianta gets in there, a little interference. Again, the four-check so important. And that man right there, Martin, will not be happy with that penalty. Down 1-0 already, a chance for the Coyotes to go on the power play and make it two. And it's an Arizona Lottery Powerball power play for the Coyotes, and you're right. Uh, he has not been happy. If you look at the numbers there, that's only part of the story because they have just been taking way too many penalties, have the Canadians. Nine power plays against last weekend for Jacques Martin and the team uh, at the Rangers. Uh, their penalty killing has been pretty decent. Thank goodness, 85.5%. Their power play, on the other hand, has been measly. 12.7%, so special teams not good for the Canadians with a record of 5-7-2. and two. Probably a big reason for it, Matt. Yeah, and you bring up a good point about the PK because uh, they are second in the NHL on the road, so we'll see how that plays out here tonight at jobbing.com as Whitney will flip it right back in over the line. Whitney, along with Hansel and Verbata, Don and Yandel are your point, man. Good keep that time by the captain before it's cleared down the length of the ice. Well, the Coyotes unable to settle it down here. Get things set up in the offensive zone and go to work. Yandel will flip one in, and this is one of those uh, times of the hockey game where a power play goal would really be useful for the Coyotes as it's moved the other way. And back it over the line, spot check, but that's knocked off the stick and handled by Doan. Yandel now in behind the net. A battle that time with Aaron Pelushai. And now Whitney, stretch pass over the line. He'll take a shot and a stop by Carey Price. Got rid of it, but he couldn't clear. Doan right there to intercept. And now the puck out of the zone. That's Hal Gill, I think. They're all right. Yeah, Hal Gill trying to move it along like a, a forward. But <laughs> the big battleship back there, that's not his bread and butter. But a nice job by this Montreal Canadiens penalty kill unit. Standing up on that blue line, forcing the Coyotes to dump the puck. And they cannot get that puck back. They have to keep it away from Carey Price. He's doing a nice job playing that puck. Mikhail Bodker will get it back in over the line. And now Eller will take it away. And the Canadians ship it down. So that second rated road penalty killing unit coming through Tyson. 18 seconds left in the minor to Gianta. Maybe one final chance here for the Coyotes. You can see why everybody in sync right now for the Montreal Canadiens. Very aggressive. And behind the net, Taylor Pyatt. This one's going to be taken away. Thomas Plakanitz over the line, angled beautifully by Ekman Larson. Oh, what a play that time. And Plakanitz is down. He got angled off, and I don't know if that's a knee, but uh, he is down, and this is not good for the Canadians, for sure. We talked about their long list of injuries, and last thing they want is Thomas Pocanitz uh, heading to it. And it was just an angle off play, uh, Tyson, by Ekman Larson. No, just a perfectly executed play there by Ekman Larson. Nothing, nothing malicious. Just goes in a little awkwardly. And as you talked about, Matt, no Gomez, no Camilleri, no Kostitsin in the lineup. Yeah, and, and here's some of the key guys out, Tyson. Andre Markov, it seems like he's been out forever. Uh, Scotty Gomez as well, and, and we found out that uh, earlier today that Camilleri uh, would not be able to play. Chris Campoli uh, is also out indefinitely. He was uh, acquired from Chicago, uh, a defenseman, so. Now these aren't just, you know, any ordinary player. This is the heart and soul of this Montreal Canadiens team. Yes, they still have their captain, Gianta in the lineup but he is a big piece to this puzzle 13 points in 14 games and you never want to lose a guy of this stature for the Canadians that have struggled up to this point 
Well, he leads them in points, he leads them in assists and game winning goals as well. 1 0 Phoenix. Seven shots, seven saves for that man, Mike Smith, and a 1 0 Phoenix Coyotes lead. And he has been red hot over the last stretch of games. Mike Smith has been absolutely terrific for the Coyotes, arguably their MVP, and the numbers are pretty much prove it out. You go back to last game, and he made some point blank beauties against the Edmonton Oilers. Oh, did he ever, Matt? Making those big saves at critical times, keeping the lead for his team. Very athletic, and again, the way he plays the Fox really earned the trust of his teammates, as you can see there. Well, it brings us to tonight's UPS Store way in. The UPS Store delivers the way in your way into our telecast tonight's topic. Do you think Mike Smith will continue his strong play and why? You can log on to Facebook, Twitter, or FoxSportsArizona.com to post your thoughts, and your answer may make it on the air. Well, he has been great. And uh, I don't know, you know, Tyson MVP so far, you, you would have to give him the vote. I, I, he's been great. Yeah, him or Ray Whitney, I think, are, are two pretty good, two pretty good players. Pyatt will bring it out. The penalty is over. And uh, so now the puck will be sent back in. Spacek lost it. Bodker to the line. Morris, he'll take a shot, and that didn't miss by much. Goes through about a, a five screen as De Arnay will flip it along, chasing it down. And that time was Eric Cole. Cole's been a little bit better uh, offensively as of late for the Canadians after getting off to a, a pretty slow start. They're going to need him and with all their key uh, players out of the lineup, and Spacek will flip this one along. Or it's handled by Brian Gianta. Uh, Cole's considered to be one of those power. Forwards add some size and strength up front for this Montreal Canadiens team that's really filled with a, a lot of small guys. Very skilled, but small. You need those guys. Mullen will let it go, and this puck will float all the way back inside the Coyote zone, and Ekman Larson touches up, and we get an icing call against the Canadiens. Well, 6 2 and 2. The numbers for Smith 9.34 save percentage. He has been getting the job done in a big way as we talked about so many question marks the loss of Oliver's Goloff and Mike Smith has answered all of those. Back of the line a coin who had a goal Saturday night against Edmonton will flip it along. Ekman Larson behind the net for Gordon try to walk it to the front and that's a cut off by Hal Gill. Good keep by a coin and he sent one right back in front. Seventh shot on goal tonight for the Coyotes in this opening 20 and a 1 0 lead as Mike Smith will steer this for Shane Doan. All the way back to center ice, Josh Georges will bring it right back in over the line. In case you uh, got home a little bit late, you're just tuning in. It was Mikel Bodker is second. Back at the 543 mark from Pyatt and O'Reilly. That's uh, O'Reilly's first point as a Phoenix Coyote. Rafi Torres broke up that play. Trying to move it right back in was Kyle Chipchura. And now P.K. Subban. As the Canadians will get it out. Back it over the line. To the corner, Palushai threw it in front. Luke Linen was there, the former Coyote. Now behind the net. And into the corner where Chipchura will flip it along for Klesla. Now Keith Yandel, stretch pass. He's done that a couple of times here in this opening period as O'Sullivan's shot goes wide of the mark. Now the Canadians will move it along as Eric Cole gives it off to Spacek. And they work it up the left side as Pacioretty will deflect one into the corner where Cole goes after it. Penalty coming up here. They're going to get Derek Morris. Delayed call here going against the Coyotes, and we get the whistle. Holding will be the call. Well, it's going to be Derek Morris, and there's big Eric Cole going to work on the four check. So Derek Morris there. Don't forget Saturday, Fox Sports stepped into the octagon with an epic heavyweight title fight as the number one ranked contender in the world. Junior Dos Santos squares off with undefeated world champion 
Cain Velasquez in this must-see live event UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World, Saturday, 6 p.m. on Fox. Out of the corner, they work it to the front. Cole is there. It's underneath. Goaltender Mike Smith. No goal. He waves it off. The Canadians will not be happy about this one. That's already right there on the doorstep. Feels like it was an early whistle. No goal, the whistle was gone. So the referee says the whistle was gone. No goal on the play. Mike Smith was doing a snow angel in that blue paint, doing whatever he could to freeze and find that loose puck. You know what? It was all done, but Boyd Gordon got up and, and, and Smith tapped Boyd Gordon as if to say, a boy." Just kind of clogging it up in front as this one's going to be cleared all the way down the length of the ice. Well, he'll be getting another tap right there for winning that face off. Down the puck goes, shows the importance of winning those draws on the penalty kill. Down the puck goes 200 feet. Dave Tippett talked about that, a key to the PK, the resurgent PK that has been great ever since uh, the second game of the season. Here's a chance and a shot on stop and a rebound. Oh, what a stop. I don't know if that caromed off Schlemko or if Smitty got it. Now the puck will be played back to the line. Spot check. That hit a stick out front. That was Cole. Well, the Canadians bringing it here. Spot check. Now side of the net. They work it down low. Oh, what a stick that time. Schlemko. To the line. Spot check. Took a shot. That was blocked away. Klesla got a piece of it. It's bouncing around in the crease. And Smith covers up. Oh, he's spectacular here in this opening period. Four shots for the Canadians. Oh, the Canadians are just looking to get that puck back to the point. To the points. And let it go. And here's the no goal. We'll see that loose puck squirt free. The Coyotes catch a break on that one. I'm not sure Smith ever had control of that loose puck. But the Canadians are looking to get that puck, as I mentioned, back to the points and shots and traffic in front. Looks anything but the 23rd ranked power play unit on the road. Well, that first minute was, was pretty good. 42 seconds left in the power play for Montreal. Subban will dump it in. Now Marty Hansel trying to move it off that right wing corner. Back to the line it goes. Subban. Will send a shot towards the net. That hit a stick. And now Darsh can't buy it on the rebound. Eller flips it along. They send one right to the net. A little misdirection is handled by Smith, and he'll get a face off. Well, we talked about Martin Hansel. This touches so many different aspects of the game, particularly on the penalty kill. The big body, six foot six, in the faceoff circle, but offensively as well, He's put up some huge numbers. Ever since Ray Whitney joined that line, five points in his last three games before he was injured for the last two. So the Phoenix County's coaching staff is happy to have him big number 11 back tonight. No doubt about it. And now they get the luxury of putting Boyd Gordon back in for the defensive zone draw here with 21 seconds left in the power play for the Canadians. Spot check of the line. Gives it off. White with a shot blocked away. Well, that time Gordon paying the price. Shot of the net, right circle, shot, glove save, Smith, and he holds for a faceoff. Oh, how about Rusty Klesla in front, Tyson? Oh, uh, he has just been a horse, eating up huge min minutes. Him and Schlemko together. Look at the work he's doing when, in front of Mike Smith, blocking shots. Seven shots on that first power play. And they only had three shots on six man advantages in that game Tuesday against Edmonton. I would imagine that was a message uh, received loud and clear from their head coach Jacques Martin. Tyson on a power play, uh, uh, you know, what have coaches told you in the past? How many shots do you want to try to generate on a power play? I mean, it is, is it a definite number or how does that work? No, you just want to put, when your power play is struggling, like the Montreal Canadiens, you need to simplify things. And that's what they've done here tonight. Everything is back to the point. It starts with that face off and the pucks are on net. Well, we are down to a minute 22. And coming up in our first intermission, Todd with his very special guest, Senator John McCain.
military hero as well. Stats and highlights from our opening 20. And so far, just one goal from Mikel Bodker. And he came back at the 543 mark. But we have seen the Canadians uh, bringing it a little more here in the second half of this opening period. And they win another faceoff to the right of Smith. This one will be taken away. And Derek Morris will move it along for Keith Yandel. Soft flip it over the line for Shane Doe and try to work it to the front. And Yandel that time overskated it. And the Canadians do that quick counter over the line. This time, however, they're offside. Boy, they can turn quickly, Tyson. And we saw it there. Well, we talked about the transition game in my keys here tonight. Had to turn that puck over. One too many passes. And back they come. There's the turnover. And Moan just makes one too many moves. Steps to his left and puts them offside. But that was a glimpse of their speed. Under a minute remaining in this opening period tonight at Jobbing.com Arena. Now Boyd Gordon will play it along on left wing as it's cleared all the way back to center. How about that little play there by Mike Smith? I think that caught Gordon off guard. I think it absolutely did as Matthew Darshall played in behind the net. They work it back to the line. Here's a chance blocked away out high. This time Gordon got right in the middle of it. And the Coyotes will play it along where Shane Doan will flip it deep. Half a minute to go. You got a one nothing lead. Tyson, I would imagine nothing fancy here. Just get out of the period and be happy. No, without a doubt. We saw how this team plays with the lead. They need to get this period into the books and get back to work. This is a four checking hockey club. They haven't had a whole lot of time to do that, being shorthanded in the last 10 minutes, but a real good first 10 minutes. So they'll face it off at center ice with 20.2 remaining in the opening period. Plus low backhand one in. Saban going after it. Taylor Pyatt rode him out of the play. And Pyatt trying to work it free, and it's taken away, and quickly out come the Canadians. Max Pacioretty. Flips this one over the glass, and that's going to do it. one nothing Coyotes. Mikel Bodker, the lone goal and stellar goaltending from Mike Smith, making 16 saves. Stick around, John McCain and Todd Walsh when we come back. The first intermission on Fox Sports Arizona was brought to you by Jack in the Box. Right now, get the new Outlaw Burger or Spicy Chicken Sandwich at participating restaurants. It's November. It's disgusting. It, it, yeah, I'm thinking about dying it or doing something, but um, my kids don't don't like it. My wife doesn't like it, uh, and it's pretty ugly. But it's for the right cause, so I'll continue with it. But um, definitely not proud of it. I had to grow the bottom part just so it's less creepy. I know people on Twitter have a problem with that, saying it's kind of cheating. But I mean, I just don't want to kick the, get kicked out of my establishment. That's a mole right there. Look at my partner Tyson Nash. Pure grease, Matt. Pure greasy and creepy. Oh, it is Movember. 32 million, by the way, Tyson has been raised for men's cancer awareness around the world. Well, even the referees are getting involved. Old Tommy Cowell, he's got a greasy one, too. Gotta love it. I thought I heard you talking to him earlier down between the benches tonight. I was. I thought he had a dead cat on his lip. Oh. <laughs> How's your wife liking it? She does. She likes it. Surprising, oddly enough, actually. Uh, I'm not. It kind of worries me, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Opening minute here of the second period is Pacioretty will flip it along, and Day Arnay backing over the line, but he got picked beautifully by Derek Morris, and it's sent right back up the ice. They say it was deflected, so play rolls on, and no icing here. Coyotes with a one-nothing lead as we close in on a minute gone in this second period. Mikel Bodker way back early on in the opening period with a lone goal to this point. P.K. Saban got one towards the net. And Darsh swatting away at it. Now it's taken away by Whitney. And he'll settle things down inside the Coyotes zone. Keith Yandel. Nice pass on right wing. Over the line and a shot by Verbata is gloved by goaltender Carey Price. Downstairs to Todd Walsh. Guys, just talked to uh, assistant coach Jim Playfair before this period started. Coaching staff not pleased with what they saw in the battle zones of that first period. Compared it to the game against the Edmonton Oilers, a very quick team, obviously. Best way to slow them down, out physical them, if you will. That's the look from the coaching staff and what they'd like to see the rest of the way. 
Well, you know, nine scoring chances. We talked about it uh, in our intermission, uh, Tyson. That you know they had uh, they had a lot of chances, as uh, Todd just mentioned. Not uh, too many chances. And that's what the coaching staff goes over. A good start, though, for the Phoenix Coyotes. You can't take away that 10 minutes. I thought they were outstanding. Well, don't forget your Coyotes have set the table for a Thanksgiving week hockey feast. It's Buck Bash versus the Ducks. On November the 23rd, get dollar beer, sodas, and dogs. Then on the 25th, Vancouver skates into town. And finally, uh, you will get a free winter hat courtesy of FoxSportsArizona.com on November the 26th versus Dallas. As the puck is played away, and Ekman Larson will get it right back in over the line. And now Palushai will flip it along. Mullen, and he takes it into the corner. It is going to be a, a big week and a big holiday season here at Jobbing.com Arena. Hockey the hard way for sure, and uh, the Coyotes continue with great efforts here on home ice. Now back of the line, Hal Gill will send one wide of the mark. And that's scooped up by Smith, and he holds on. A nice job there by Smith. No second and third opportunities. The Coyotes defensemen and forwards all collapse. But right now, the Montreal Canadiens are again controlling the play. They picked up right where they left off in that first period. And everything is going towards the net. A lot like the Edmonton Oilers. Everything is going at the feet and the body of Mike Smith and traffic in front. Chip Chura out there to take the face off against the former Coyote, Pateri Nokalainen. one nothing Coyotes here, 2-12 gone in this second period. As the Coyotes wrap up their three-game homestand. Morris. And now Chip Turo will bring it right back to center ice. He the safety valve as the center down low on that breakout. And now Weber will bring it right back in over the line for the Canadians. Turn the other way, and here's a chance. O'Sullivan, maybe a breakaway. O'Sullivan in. He got yanked at the last second. Well, the, that time right in front of you, Tyson, uh, the Canadians caught in a shift change. Is... Well, and a turnover there by the Canadians on the blue line. What an opportunity there for O'Sullivan. It was Emelin. Just caused... Enough interference on O'Sullivan to not be able to make the move that he wanted. Yandel now. And he'll set it up. Moen watching him in front. He'll give it off to Derek Morris. Looked into the corner where Carey Price will look around. A very frustrated O'Sullivan as he comes back to the bench, shaking his, shaking his head, Matt. Yeah, that's a pretty good opportunity. He had the skate and a goal. Wrap around Gianta, put it home, and he's tied it at one. He oh, just picked that puck right off, and the Canadians are on the board. 1-1 one, one the score. Well, what a change of events in this hockey game. And as we talked about Montreal putting on the pressure, they continue here in the second. And here's another look at O'Sullivan. Emelin just gets enough. Not really a whole lot there, but here's the work of the Canadians getting in on the four check. And Gordon just gets his pocket picked by Gianta, his fourth of the season for the captain of the Montreal Canadiens. And he gets his back, his club back in this hockey game. Time of the goal, 328, it comes unassisted. Coyotes now. Here's a chance. Korpakowski got it to the front, and that's swept away. Back the other way. And over the line, and a weak shot is blocked away. Here's a chance. Now Dayarnay will take it in behind the net. Tied up beautifully down low that time by Gordon. Puck will play to the corner. Now Pacioretty. Look to the line, but not out. Canadians with all sorts of momentum. Uh, the Coyotes had a good start, but it was trending towards Montreal's favor. Late in that second, here's a turnover. Day Arnay, but he can't set it up. The puck is going to be cleared away. The Canadians have had the last nine shots on goal of the hockey game. Lars Eller over the line, trying to rip one that's blocked away. All right, now Matt, the Montreal Canadiens just totally outworking the Coyotes, plain and simple. Eller that time got 
sent to the ice by Adrian Acoin. Now behind the net, but Larson will play it off the glass and gets it right back to the line, kept momentarily by Gill, but it comes outside. Well, you can log on to FoxSportsArizona.com for online local sports coverage you can't find anywhere else. The coverage of ASU's own Kane Velasquez as he prepares for his big UFC match this Saturday, plus Craig Morgan's story on Dave Tibbet and live webcasts of ASU volleyball, basketball, and wrestling all this weekend at FoxSportsArizona.com. Those shots of the last 10-02 for your Phoenix Coyotes. Funny too, we, Tyson, we, you know, we talked about the layoff, what kind of a start it would be. The start was great, but since the start, it's been a little bit of a different situation for the Coyotes. Well, back to my keys of the hockey game, making it a long, painful night for the Montreal Canadiens and limiting those turnovers. Then the Coyotes getting outworked and giving up pizzas all over the ice. You cannot give this Montreal Canadiens opportunity after opportunity. They will make you pay. And over the line, Whitney will play into the corner. Now Hal Gill. Rubata. Now Hal Gill will play it away as Placanitz will move it along. Now it gets past Schlemko into the corner now. Mullen, his centering play for Placanitz is broken up. Schlemko gives chase. Tries to go up the boards, and he'll send this one all the way down the length of the ice. And we'll get an icing call here against Phoenix. Well, physicality always a big part of the game, Tyson. Uh, and this is what the Cowboys have to do. If they want to be successful, they need to be physical on these smaller, skilled players. Guys like Adrian Coyne, you saw there, a great job. Logs a lot of minutes. Back of the line. Emlin's shot is blocked away. And Spacek will move it along. Alexi Emelin, one Canadian's defenseman. And now around the boards, kept beautifully as Rusty Klesla can't move it along. Eric Cole in behind the net. Now Max Pacioretty with it. Doing a nice job of shielding that puck, keeping it away. This puck's going to be moved along, and now Pyatt will try to get it out. Yeah, that time, Spacek tried to take a run as Botker now bring it in over the line. Pull up move, and he got dumped to the ice. O'Reilly to Botker. In front, he shoots, stop, rebound. Oh, and it's right at the crease for Pyatt, but it goes wide. Oh, what an opportunity there for Pyatt. It was Spacek that just caused enough interference to prevent the goal, and I think it's going to be the Montreal Canadiens right now. For too many men on the ice. Well, you're right down there, Tyson. Ed. But here is the chance. There's Pyatt right there. An opportunity on the backhand. He can't make him pay, so that guy was wrong. No. Too many men. Penalty on the ice. But the players that were on have to stay on. And they're tired. So an opportunity here for the Coyotes. Yeah, due to the icing call, that was the Coyotes' first shot. Here's a chance for shot in 11.52. Now maybe a flurry as Ekman Larson shot on. Stopped, it's in the crease, and it's underneath Carey Price. And some pushing and shoving. 1-1 the score. And good chances here in the last little bit for the Coyotes. We're here with David Schlemko and uh, Schlemmer obviously a good first uh, 10 minutes of that first period But it's been all Montreal Canadiens here in the second. How do you get that momentum back? I think we got to get in a little more uh, bat Puck battles there win some battles get the puck deep and go to work here playing a little too much in our own end All right, thanks. Good luck the rest of the way All right our thanks to uh, David Schlemko. Yeah winning the battles and going to work And you know that really is uh, when you're talking about hockey the hard way that that's the that is the uh, the moniker of this team, Tyson. We'll see if they can maybe build off that momentum they had uh, prior to this faceoff shot just wide. Oh, what a look for Rafi Torres! And now Sullivan trying to work it free, and the puck is played out. I was going to say before we went to break, Matt, the second or sorry, excuse me, the third and fourth line for this Phoenix Coyotes team has really picked up the tempo here. 
Created a lot of scoring chances because of hard work. Nice job here. You're gonna see O'Sullivan right through to Rafi Torres, and what an opportunity by Rafi Torres. He just misses the net. He hits the net that's in, but because of that shift, the Coyotes created a power play for themselves. Just too much to handle for the Canadian. It's gonna be Lars Eller in the box. 7.22 the time of the minor, so a chance to get that lead right back here, Tyson. We'll see what they can do. Yandel and Doan, the point man, and Yandel has it. They worked on this yesterday in practice. Here's a chance, Whitney into the corner for Verbata. Now Whitney with some room in that right circle. Ray Whitney looking around, back out high. Doan, one-timer. Right pad saved by Price. And the Canadians will get it out. Talked about the second-ranked National Hockey League penalty kill unit. The Canadians, they bring it in here tonight to Jobbing.com. Well, they're prepared to play this Phoenix Coyotes team power play. Travis Mullen staying real tight on Shane Doan, recognizing that's where the Coyotes want to put that puck. Hal Gill behind the net. Hansel went right after it. Martin Hansel got hammered. No penalty call. So Hansel will play without a bonnet. There's Yandel now, back of the line, Whitney, passes on it, Doan now, Whitney looking around, and he lost it. And Gianto will flip this one out. Well, what an unfortunate sequence there on the man advantage for the Coyotes as they'll look to set it up. Well, we saw the Montreal Canadiens have success on their power play as far as scoring opportunities go, just because of them simplifying it, get that puck back and shoot. That's what the Coyotes need to do here. Whitney has it. Looks to the front. Rink wide. Great stick that time. Matthew Darsh doing a great job to get it all the way back to center ice. And now Don will go after it. Darsh really effective here on this penalty kill for the Canadians with 25 seconds left in the time. O'Reilly back it over the line, but this time he pulled himself offside, and so we'll get a whistle and a stop. It's a little rough out there, too, Tyson, for, for Marty Hansel. Well, this is when the Coyotes are at their best. Marty Hansel just rattles his head off that middle post. And you know when you're going up against Hal Gill, it's going to be a long night. Hal Gill, great defensive defenseman. Always makes it a long night on whoever he's up against. I remember back in the day, he used to torture Yarmir Yager when uh, he was in Pittsburgh with the Penguins. Oliver Ekman, Larson will bring it out. Flipped on left wing, O'Sullivan will give chase. Now behind the net, Cal O'Reilly try to get it in front for O'Sullivan. Penalty is over, Eller is out, and so the Canadians are back to full strength with ten and a half remaining in the second period. Oliver Ekman, Larson. Back through center ice, this one flipped right back and over the line. Here's a chance, Pyatt to the front. He stopped at a rebound, covered up by Carey Price. Oh, what an opportunity there for the Phoenix Coyotes. And what a pickup. That was a rocket of a pass by Ekman Larson. High and hard, right up the pipe. O'Sullivan picks it up, puts it to Pyatt, takes it in all alone, tries to open up. The five hole on Price. There's the feed of Sullivan to Pyatt. Tries to go five hole, but Gary Price, not tonight. Out of the zone it goes. Flipped along to Eric Cole, who gets it in over the line. Pacioretty's backhander goes wide. Josh George has tried to send one to the front, and it's knocked away, and Boyd Gordon back to center. On left wing for Korpakoski. Played in behind the net. Boyd Gordon cut off by Cole, and now Pacioretty will try to get it out for the Canadians, who move it back through center before Yandel turns it the other way. And now Boyd Gordon will dump one right back in. Price will give it off there for P.K. Subban. Canadians looking up ice. Nine and a half remaining in the second period. Subban over the line with a shot, and that kind of caught Smith, almost handcuffed the Coyotes goaltender before it's flipped all the way back. I well, was going blocker side. Smith used his glove. Aaron Pelushai going wide as he cuts in behind the net. Well, this one's going to be knocked away as Chip Churro will settle it down. He flips it through center to safety. 
Big hit that time. Rafi Torres causing a turnover. Chipchura. Here's that fourth line you were talking about, Tyson, trying to make things happen as Schlemko will work it back out high. And now down low, Torres. Side of the net, Chipchura whacking away at it. They try to get it in front. Flipped along, Schlemko with a shot blocked away. Oh, man, they are making things happen as it's cleared all the way back. Oh, you don't trust me? Oh, absolutely. I These guys are putting on a clinic here tonight. I'm a believer, Tyson. That fourth line. Getting her done, that's just pure hard work. Well, that pass. Whitney back it over the line, but now a shift change on for the Canadians. They work it back through center ice. Placanitz. And now P.K. Subban. And now turning it over and back the other way it goes. Flipped along, Verbata trying to work it to the front for Whitney. That's broken up as the loose puck ends up in behind the net for Travis Mullen. Now Whitney for Verbata. Comes back out high. A chance. Ekman Larson with a shot and a glove save by Carey Price. Welcome back, Coyotes and Canadians 1-1. And it is Sanderson Ford Kids Caster Night. And this is Tristan Toombs. He's from Blythe, California. Nice wave at the camera there, Tristan. And uh, these are some of the things that uh, uh, Tristan loves. Uh, we know that you're a big uh, Paul Bissonette fan. Did you have, uh, how did it go with Paul before the game tonight? It went well. I asked him a few questions, um, and he, one of them was really tricky for him, and then he got me back like that. Oh, so. no, really? Yeah. Well, I listened to that interview, and I thought you did a great job. I, I think you've got a, a bright future interviewing hockey players, and you threw him a good curveball, didn't you? You want to watch some of this game? Yes. Well, this is where we do it, Tristan. And uh, you're 13 years old from Blythe, uh, California. You got the whole family up here. And <coughs> what do you think of this hockey game so far? The Coyotes are doing well. Um, they need to attack the puck more. They're not, they're falling asleep on, like, in the beginning of it, they were falling asleep there. Yeah, they, they, they haven't, they, they, they got off to a really good start, right? But then they, they kind of kind of fell behind a little bit. They when, let it go. Yeah, and it's a 60-minute game. Is This one is going to be batted away, and now Oliver ekman Larson will chase it down, but we get a whistle. Evidently, uh, the puck was played with a high stick. Now, let's get back to some of these interests here because i, I got to ask you a couple of questions about some of these things on your, your biography <laughs> here. Your favorite team is the Miami Dolphins. Why? Well, uh, they're, they've been a good team for a while. Um, I like the quarterback, Dan Marino. Their quarterback isn't doing very good right now. Um, they've been my favorite team for a while now. And it's pretty tough to be a Miami Dolphins fan right now, right? But, but you are a Coyotes fan, I take it, because I see you're wearing the, the third jersey, right? You're all Coyotes? Yes, sir. Puck is played away. Oh, Todd, Todd Walsh didn't say that you had to call me sir did you i i because no you can just call me matt that that'd be more than fine as this one is sent in on carry price and now it'll be flipped along here's morris wrist shot right on and carry price makes the save tyson you're down between the benches we'll take another look at that one as uh, tristan and i watch off the monitor well the phoenix coyotes we talked about it getting more pucks on net with traffic not much traffic in front but a nice shot there by Derek Morris. Shane Doan a little late. Getting to his cousin there, Carey Price. But that's what the Coyotes need to do. If they want to win this hockey game here tonight. And Tristan, uh, as Matt mentioned, yeah, I'm between the benches here. But I noticed you're smiling pretty big. You must have all your girlfriends watching at home, huh? No. No girlfriends? You <laughs> no. Know, none in Blythe? No, oh, OK. No. Well, I, I think Tyson's just having a little fun with you as the puck is Going to be played in behind the net, and Thomas Placanitz will move it along. Good outlet there for the Canadians as it'll be played right back. Do, do you want to want to play a little? Uh, you want to play along here? Do a little play-by-play. -play? You want to give it a shot? No. Okay. Well, here's a three-on-three. -three. Mikel Bodker over the line got one right to the net, and that's stopped by Carey Price. It is Sanderson Ford Kids Caster Night, and we're uh, here up in the booth with Tristan Toombs from Blythe, California. As Travis Mullen will set it up, you got the uh, you got the trip to the uh, TV truck prior to the game, and you got to interview Paul Bissonnette as Spachek will try to send one across, but a good stick that time by uh, Schlemko. 
Well, I think you're right, Tristan. I, I, I think they need to be up the ice a little more. Is, is, that, is, is that some of the stuff you were seeing in that opening period? Yes, and they also need to attack the puck more. When the Canadians get the puck, they just kind of drop back, and they just follow it. They need to attack it. How about that, Tyson? That's right. You're going to steal my job here, Tristan. That's my job to analyze this game, but you're 100% right. The Coyotes need to take away that time and space. Tristan, thanks for stopping up. We hope you had a great night tonight, and uh, hopefully the Coyotes will win this one for you tonight. Yeah. All right, that's Tristan Toombs from Blythe, California, our Sanderson Ford Kitcaster of the night. Welcome back. Hockey U is delivered by the UPS Store. Mike Smith again, Tyson. Well, he's been unbelievable here in this hockey game at playing the puck. He's like a third defenseman. We talk about it. The Canadians have to do a better job of putting the puck where Mike Smith can't get it. See that pass right there, right to Mikel Bodker, some defenseman. Can't make a pass like that. Ten passes, two turnovers for Smith tonight. But the good definitely outweighs the bad. Played to the corner where Hansel looked to set it up. Uh, Dave Tippett uh, talked about that and a shot on deflected. Right pad save that time by Carey Price. He said, I will take it any day of the week. Bouncing puck right in on Price, and we get a whistle, and so now Carey Price is stealing the show at the other end. Uh, he's been good in this hockey game. He's played the puck pretty well himself. There's a deflection there by Big Martin Hansel. Carey Price had to be aware that puck changes direction, and Price just gets a blocker on that one. There was a real good look. Right there with big number 11 on the doorstep. Still 1-1 late here in the second period. Klesla got one towards the net. Fanning on at that time was Korpakowski. Now here's a chance as Klesla will send one in behind the net. Tyson, I don't know about you, but I'm starting to get the feeling that uh, this is going to be a low-scoring affair the way it has uh, unfolded here in the first half of the hockey game is Gianta right in the middle of it again. Placanitz, I don't see either of these teams uh, busting it open. Now in behind the neck, Plesla will play it back to the line. And now Schlemko will look to settle it down, but a loose puck. That is set just wide by Plakanitz. Cleared all the way back. Well, every time Shane Doan is on the ice, Hal Gill is as well. Big stay-at-home defenseman. Trying to keep Shane Doan off the scoreboard. Hal Gill. And it'll be flipped right past Adrian Acoin as Oliver Ekman Larson gives chase. Nice takeaway by Rafi Torres, and he'll bring it along through center ice. Ekman Larson over the line. Thought about a shot. And he'll take it into the corner. Canadians trying to set it up, and Lars Eller will flip it along, but not out. And a shot right on is corralled by Carey Price. Again, it's his fourth line for the Phoenix Coyotes. Getting opportunities. Getting the puck in deep. Chip Chura's had a real nice game. Yeah, Dave Tippett calls Chip Chura just a steady pro. Very happy with his game. Well, no Damon Lanko here tonight. Death in the family. Everybody has to step up. Chip Chura's been one of those guys in this hockey game. Boyd Gordon as well. Did a pretty good job. Filling in for Martin Hansel on that second line. Goal and assist the other night against the Edmonton Oilers. Now he's up on that top line with Shane Doan. Into the corner. He handled that time. Lost it. Side of the net. Out of the line. Subban and his shot is rifled wide. Played in behind the net. Canadians try to get something going here. Dayarnay will give it off. Now to the line. Subban. This shot goes wide of the mark. Dayarnay plays it in behind the net and fanning on an opportunity. Oh, and a point blank save that time. Smith as he robbed Eric Cole. Well, that was right between the circles and a great A chance for the Canadians. Yandel. Floated one right to the front and no problem carry Price with the glove. Oh, and I'm not sure Mike Smith even saw this shot from Cole. He's going to be here up high in the slot right there just walks into it Mike Smith that left pad right at the last second those are the saves we're talking about key saves at critical times by Mike Smith to keep this game tied up 
Face off to the right of Price. Hansel's line back out there with Whitney and Verbata. Schlemko will try to work it down that left wing wall. And now Gianta, quick counter. Canadians right back at a three on two. Placanitz over the line. His shot is blocked and a rebound goes wide. That quick transition again here on display in the second period as Martin Hansel muscles it right back inside the Canadian zone. And finally, it's played away by Diaz, but he can't get it out. Into the corner, Hal Gill. And a one-on-one, -on -one. Hansel brought it right to the front of the net. And they've had a pretty good battle all night, Tyson, as the Canadians will bring it right back through center ice where Gianto will bring it in. Drops it to the front, a chance and a goal! What a play that time by Travis Mullen. And he's given the Canadians a 2-1 lead. Oh, this is a beauty. And this second line was out of gas for the Phoenix Coyotes. They had a strong forechecking shift in the offensive zone. But there's the transition game we talked about. You're going to see Moan coming in late to the picture on the right side. Martin Hansel doesn't have the energy to get back. Gionta finds him all alone. And he rips it. Top cheese over the glove of Mike Smith. That is a ripper. We don't see so many guys beat Mike Smith over that glove. Gianta and Placanitz assisting at 1746. Canadians with their first lead of the hockey game. Travis Moen, and he's had a strong game here tonight. Well, he has Gianta as well. Goal and an assist. Pick Gordon's pocket. Now he sets up Moen for a beauty and another turnover by the Coyotes. Barzeller will play it in behind the net. A coin flips it along. And now Sullivan will get it out. Try to chip it deep. Canadians will take it away, and out of the zone it goes. Where Nokalainen will bring it right back. This shot steered aside. Darsh works it in behind the net, but it's taken away by Chipchura. And now Sullivan with a nice outlet there. And Ekman Larson will bring it right back as he'll flip one right in. Oh, that's tough right now. To not think about those opportunities the Kaidus have had that O'Sullivan breakaway and that Pyatt chance all alone. And the saves that Carey Price has made for his hockey club. Shane Doan will try to flip it along, turn the other way. Get, or excuse me, back it over the line goes Cole. Under a minute to go in this second period. And Boy Gordon will get it out right back through center ice. Back it over the line into the corner. Shane Doan with it. Lost it momentarily. Canadians try to set it up. Don't will get it right back to the front and they try to set it there in the left circle for Boyd Gordon. And now the Canadians come right back. Cole with it over the line. Pacioretty and his shot off netting and we'll get a whistle and a stoppage of play. Well, you talked about that last shift with Martin Hansel and he was dead tired. All three of them caught down deep and there's Hansel trying to get back in the play. You see Moan, he skates right past him. Right past him. And he was the guy that ends up getting that puck from Gianta and puts it in the back of the net. It was a long, hard shift offensively for that line, unable to get back defensively. Off the faceoff, and Gianta, his shot is stopped by Smith. Brian Gianta has been in on both goals, Tyson. He has a goal and an assist. The other thing, too, is a, a depleted Canadiens lineup. Uh, the guys, the stars that they have left, uh, the guys that have been leading them in goals are getting it done. I mean, Gianta getting his fourth and Moen his fifth. So credit the Canadians uh, and some of their guys that are going to be called upon for more offense with key players out of the lineup. Guys like Scotty Gomez not playing tonight. And for Steetson as well. Not Camilleri, a late scratch as well, but they're a hungry team. They lost to the Edmonton Oilers. You knew they weren't going to lay down after that first goal by Bodker. So Mike Smith uh, giving up a pair in that uh, second period. And the Canadians with a 2-1 to one lead. Bodker scored for the Coyotes, then Gianta and Mullen, and that's where we stand through two. It's 2-1 Montreal. Hockey on Fox Sports Arizona is brought to you by Jack in the Box. Right now, get the new Outlaw Burger or Spicy Chicken Sandwich at participating restaurants.
and by Sanderson Ford, Arizona's largest Ford dealership. Speak your mind up, come on, baby, free yourself. Switchfoot brings us back inside Jobbing.com Arena, set for the third period of play. And the Coyotes trailing it 2-1. to one. Gianta Moen tonight for the Canadians. And Bodker for the Coyotes. There are the faceoffs. They had a huge edge, uh, Tyson, in that opening 20 did the Coyotes. But uh, the Canadians really taking that over and uh, gaining possession, being able to control the, the play a lot more in that middle 20. Well, the Coyotes down by a goal. Dave Tippett has changed the lines. Right now he's got O'Reilly with Shane Doan and O'Sullivan trying to spark the offense for the Coyotes. Into the corner, Doan now will try to set it up for O'Sullivan. The puck is played in behind the net and around the boards it goes. Travis Moen can't get it out. Now the Canadians will settle it down as Hal Gill just lumbering through center. And he'll dump one deep. And we talked about, uh, you know, the Coyotes got the first goal tonight, Tyson, and we talked about how the, they are unbeaten in regulation, 6-0-2, when they're able to seize that momentum tonight, first time they're going to have to play from behind as Yandel now will send one in. And the Coyotes try to work it deep. Hansel down low as well with uh, Whitney, but it's turned the other way and out of the zone for Eric Cole. And the former Carolina Hurricane will bring it right back in. Now around the boards, Verbata couldn't clear. Josh George is behind the net. They are now in a battle along with Morris, and they get it to the front, but it's taken away, and Whitney will get it out. Three on three go the Coyotes. Whitney drops it. Yandel tried to pull the trigger, and that was partially blocked by P.K. Subban, the big Canadian's defenseman. Now Hansel behind the net. Trying to work it in front. He had Whitney there, and Whitney that time can't corral the puck and it's cleared by the Canadians. Well, gut check time here for the Phoenix Coyotes and you know they talked about it in between periods. The importance of this hockey game. They have to find a way to get some points out of this one. They know what's coming. That road trip, five of the toughest games that they're going to play this year. Flipped right back in and we get a whistle on the offside. When we talked about playing with a lead, we talked about that man, Dave Tippett, and, and the numbers are incredible over the last three seasons when you score first, when you lead after two, and the one goal games, we've got one right now, Tyson, uh, that number excellent as well. Well, Dave Tippett, one of the best coaches in the National Hockey League, eight se seasons without a losing record, and playoffs, seven of the eight. This guy's the man for the job, that's why he's made some adjustments, he's got his finger on the pulse of this team at all times. And behind the net. And Kyle Chipchur going to try to walk it there. Worked on by Lars Eller. And Rafi Torres has it. Eklund Larson curling out of the corner. Back to the front. Oh, and Torres nearly had one. A coin with a shot, and that was blocked away. Good job by Spacek to get in the middle of that one. And now Chipchur will get a deep. Out is uh, a little more... Aggression here, a little more battle on the puck to open up the third period of play. We are nearly three minutes old into the final period as Ekman Larson touches up and we get a whistle. November 19th is the college football game that really matters. The rivalry continues. Who will win the Territorial Cup? Sun Devils or Wildcats? Don't miss the duel in the desert Saturday, November the 19th at 7 p.m only on Fox Sports Arizona. I have a feeling I know who Todd Walsh thinks is going to win that game. As Morris will play one in behind the net. Now tie it to the line. Morris looking around, trying to get through traffic. About five players in front of goaltender Carey Price. Just really nowhere to, to shoot that puck and to get anything through as Morris keeps that blue line momentarily before Spotcheck will play it right back and he'll dump one deep. Well, Montreal with the lead doing a real nice job getting in those shooting lanes forcing the Coyotes to put it through them or back into the corner. Korpikoski pulls up inside the Canadians blue line. And now Pateri Nokalainen 
or Diaz who crosses center and he'll dump one in. Smith. And another excellent handle that time of the puck as it's cleared all the way back to center. That can really frustrate a team when it's block shot after block shot. It forces you to, to get a little bit more creative and maybe pull out some plays that you're not really accustomed to. P.K. Subban. And now Moen, one of the goal scorers, will backhand one deep. Well, the Canadians playing a very patient game right now, very, uh, very tentative, uh, in no hurry as Rusty Klesla chases one down. And that one's moved out of there by O'Sullivan. Skate chase now between Doan and Spacek, and the Canadians will clear. You also don't want to let your foot off the gas when you're playing against the Phoenix Coyotes. As you mentioned, the Canadians just sitting back. Coyotes taking it to them, but it's all about hard work. Out of the zone, chipped along, back to center, and Moen crosses center to avoid the icing. And played in behind the net as Klesla looks up ice. Hansel back out there with Whitney and Verbata. This one sent right in, and Carey Price will get a face-off. The weigh-in, well, it's delivered by the UPS store. You think Mike Smith will continue a strong play, and why? Facebook, Twitter, and FoxSportsArizona.com. Given similarities in their size and playing style, Sean Burke has really helped him with better positioning, Tippett, and so on and so forth. Uh, Sean Burke has done an excellent job there. And you wonder if maybe he is the catalyst in, in that, that thread uh, with the goaltenders here in Phoenix because he, he was great with Ilya Brzezgalov as well. Yeah, he's definitely the common denominator. See this all. Try to send one right to the front and a coin on a backhander. It's knocked away. Two on one with Max Pacioretty and Eric Cole. Pacioretty shoots and a glove save that time by Mike Smith. Oh, that time Pacioretty just looking off Eric Cole and he got a ripper on Smith. Oh, that's a huge save. And there's Cole. He pokes it to Pacioretty. Off to the races. Coyotes get caught. A coin in deep. He just rips that one. Ekman Larson taking the pass away, not allowing that puck to go through to Cole, so it was all up to Mike Smith. Into the corner, Canadians setting it up. Noka line and knocked off the puck that time by Boyd Gordon, but Lars Eller will take it away. And he's been a good addition to uh, the Canadians uh, since coming over a couple of seasons ago from St. Louis. Rafi Torres in a good battle there. The line it goes. Yandel. Room, so he skates in. Yandel takes a shot. Block. Rebound. Put home. Rafi Torres there for the rebound, and it's 2 2. Oh, and this all starts with the guy who ends up putting the puck in the basket, and that's Rafi Torres. He gets in on the four check right there. Doing a nice job, winning that puck battle, getting it back to the point, and he goes right to the front, and Keith Yandel just walks it in, takes a look, and lets it go. Carey Price, I'm not sure that puck ever really got to him. Goes off a couple bodies, but there's Rafi Torres right there on the near post. Puts it in, that's a huge goal. 550 the time of the even strength equalizer for the Coyotes and, and Tyson I got to give you props you recognized it in the second period how the third and fourth lines have been doing great yeoman's work here tonight well, they've been great it's all about hard work we've been talking about it nothing fancy at the line Klesla sent it across Pyatt now down low and behind the net Korpakoski now Korpakoski to the front nearly bought one that time and boy Gordon right in front well, the Coyotes much better on their four check here in the third period. 2-2 the score as the puck is going to be played out. Now Mullen will get it right back to center for Boston College product Brian Gianta who sends one in. And again line changes for Dave Tippett, Pyatt, Gordon, and Korpakoski. The kids O'Reilly and O'Sullivan getting an opportunity to play here with the big captain. Shane Doan has it. Back out high, Ekman Larson shot blocked away. They are Naves having a tough time getting back up now. Eric Cole 
Arnold trying to get around Ekman Larson in a great poke with the stick to break that one up. I'll tell you what, that Eric Cole could flat out fly. What a defensive effort there by Ekman Larson to get all puck. That's already, and now a big hit that time in the corner. Ekman Larson laying the lumber. Well, and the Montreal Canadiens wanted a penalty. The ref rolled his eyes at that one. He thought Pacioretty maybe embellished that one a little bit. I like it. Let the players dictate how this game is going to be won or lost. But again, I can't say enough. The defensive effort of Ekman Larson, how he got all puck on that play. Didn't take a penalty. Smart play that time of the young defenseman. Goes side of the net. They work it to the front. It's right there in Verbata. Couldn't really get a shot away on Carey Price. Flipped along, icing, chase for the puck. And the Canadians win the race, so the icing is waved off. Well, this is a better pace. I think one we were expecting from the start of the drop of the puck. McCann, it's with it. Rister, that goes wide of the mark. Yeah, more like Saturday uh, when the Edmonton Oilers were here. Turnover, Placanitz takes it away for the Canadians. Good, nope, they thought that Gianta could keep it, but it comes out. 2-2, the score was 2-1 Canadians at the end of two, and then Rafi Torres ties it at two. Game summary is brought to you by Sonic. Well, there was the first one there by number 89, Bodker. First point, 10 games. Pocket pick there by Gianta on Boyd Gordon. Ties it up and then Gianta again. What a feed to Moan. He tickles the twine on Mike Smith, but then Rafi Torres. Getting to work, putting the hard hat on. Nice shot there by Keith Yandel. Rafi Torres picking up the garbage. And while we have this opportunity, let's take a look at the results from tonight's Taco Bell text poll. Most iconic franchise. And 36% of you thought it is these Montreal Canadiens. 20 plus Stanley Cup championships. The Yankees a close second. And a lot of love for the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, they're picking up the rear there. That's a little, a little surprising. Hasn't been all that great as of late for the Cowboys. No, but definitely iconic. And the Kamloops Blazers did not make the list. Yeah, that's a little surprising, I, I have to say. In fact, I got my little mug here beside me. Your junior team. And now Verbato will chase it down to the corner. Lost it, intercepting his Hansel. Try to get one on net, and this one will hit netting. This one will get a face-off to the right of goaltender Carey Price. Well, nice job by the Coyotes. P.K. Subban giving up the puck because of the forechecking pressure. That's what happens when you force teams on the forecheck. You force them to make plays before they want to make those plays, and in turn, turnovers. It's been an interesting game for the head coach, Dave Tippett, because great start, better as of late, a little bit of a lull in the middle. There are plenty of, uh, I would imagine, teaching moments, Tyson, in this, in this game, as uh, this is the final of the three-game homestand before the team heads out for five. Again, you're... Just going back to the way this team has to play. They came out, played the way they, they need to play, the way the coaching staff drew it up, but then got away from that a little bit. Pacioretty will flip one along and back through center for Eric Cole. Now Cole looking to the front of the net, try to work one there, and it's turned the other way, but now here's an opportunity on the turnover. Good look there for Weber, and now Spotcheck's shot goes wide. Yannick Weber will flip it in behind the net. Dayarnay is there for the Canadians. On the line with Cole and Pacioretty. Chatura tries to take it away, and a loose puck is swooped away by Mikel Bacher, and he'll get it back to center. As he'll flip one deep. You okay down there? That happened right in front of you, Tyson. You're between the benches tonight. Good thing I got a lot of product in. That just bumped me on the head almost. Product? You saw my, like, like my wife. <laughs> well, if you saw my... Attaché case, all the makeup <laughs> I carry nowadays, my goodness. I'd rather not. Boyd Gordon will try to get it out. And this one all the way back where Hal Gill touches up. Here we get a whistle. Well, the Coyotes have set the table for a Thanksgiving holiday week feast. The 23rd, the Ducks will be here. It'll be a buck bash Friday. The, the Canucks come for the leftover fest. And Saturday night, it's the Dallas Stars. Hockey the hard way. Uh, pick your opponent. Why not come to all three? Go to phoenixcoyotes.com for more information. 
Hyatt will chase down a loose puck. Good battle there along with the Canadians, Rafael Diaz. Now Diaz takes it away and a bouncing puck in front. Caught a player up high. Rowan that time with a, a big hit on Boyd Gordon. Here's Pyatt the other way, and now we get a whistle here on the offside. 2 2 the score, 9 41 remaining in the third. Welcome back. A lot of energy here in the building tonight, and Rafi Torres ties this game up at two Coyotes and Canadiens. Jody Jackson here in the Coyotes Club getting set for Coyotes Live presented by CenturyLink, our post-game show. And I talked to Dave Tippett before this game. He said he felt confident this group would have a good game tonight after two strong days of practice. I think we're seeing that, guys, the urgency here in the third period. He also called this a springboard game for the five-game road trip, which makes it even that more important, guys. Thanks a lot, Jody. Yeah, and we are starting to see more of that here in the third period of play. Tyson, I don't think anybody would call this a complete game, but bottom line, 2-2 with 9.27 remaining. Well, it's all how you finish right now. Coyote's in good position at home. Really starting to take it to the Canadians again. Three on two developing. Placanitz will bring it right back in over the line. Drop pass left side. Mullen in a reflection that time wide. Bouncing puck in front, no Sullivan. Nice flip back through center ice for Cal O'Reilly. And now Placanitz back to help out defensively. Under nine minutes remaining in the third period of play. Travis Mullen flips one in. Cal O'Reilly will give it off there for Keith Yandel. Bit of a dangerous play there as Derek Morris now set it up in the near corner. Yandel and Morris, and they go up front with Whitney, Hansel, and Verbata. Ray Whitney over the line, drops it. Now Hansel tied up that time. Josh George is doing a nice job, as does Dayarnay, but they can't clear the zone. Yandel with a shot wide of the mark. And so Subban will play it. It's taken away that time beautifully by Ray Whitney as Hansel tries to work it for Verbata in front. And now Hal Gill will skate it out. Or he tried to anyways as Subban is there and he'll flip it all the way back to the Coyotes blue line. Now Keith Yandel really starting to engage in the offensive attack. Over the corner Kyle Chipchura played it in behind the net to the front a chance Bodker right there rebound and Torres can't get it. Well, we kill Bodker looking for a second of the hockey game. Well, he could have had about three here in this hockey game. Already, Chipchura, this is the best game we've seen him play as well. And it's funny, too, when you get in the lineup for a few games, Tyson, you know this, uh, you start to develop that rhythm, and Kyle Chipchura has seen some action now since his recall from Portland. And he'll flip it right back into the right-wing corner. And behind the net, Chipchura will take it away. I mentioned it earlier how uh, Coach Tippett called him a just a solid pro and he, and he meant that as a compliment uh, nothing flashy about his game you know what you're going to get when you're the coach you put him in you know you're going to get an honest effort each and every night and tonight he's getting rewarded this just shows again dave tippett is all about the reward system all about the wins and he's getting rewarded right now for the way he's played in the first two periods into the corner schlemko in a big battle loose puck comes in front on oh, a great takeaway by klusla and now Gordon trying to spring Korpakoski up the ice and chase it down. Nobody able to touch it. Now they do. A late icing call here against the Coyotes. Now it's time for the Coors Light freeze cam. And we go back to a, an interesting play involving Marty Hansel. All right, there he knocks his pumpkin right on the middle bar of the net. Off comes the bucket. The Coors Light Freeze Cam is brought to you by Frost Brood Coors Light. They saw it back inside the Coyote zone to the right of Smith. Spot check. He threw one in front that's knocked away by Boyd Gordon. And cleared all the way back to center. Six and a half remaining in regulation tonight. The 2-2 tie. If you joined us late, Bodker and Torres tonight for the Coyotes. A chance goes to the front, and De Arnais that time had a good look, but it was broken up beautifully, and now the Coyotes will come right back. Oh, nice defensive play there by Schlemko. As I might mention a plus nine on the season. Just an outstanding year so far for number six. 
Yeah, he leads the team, and he's one of the top six in the National Hockey League as Yandel will set it up. Well, not to mention six points in 12 games as well. Out of the corner it goes. Here's a shot and a glove save by goaltender Mike Smith. Schlemko trying to make it happen. 2-2 the score and a great breakup play here. About it earlier tonight, it's been a while. How about 1998? This is the last time the Coyotes defeated the Canadians. Jeremy Roenick with a big goal that night in the 4-2 win. Tyson, you were what? Playing Bantam hockey back in 98, weren't you? I mean, it's been that long. I was still in diapers. <laughs> but you got to love it. There's Big Walt. Keep the chuck. Getting the job done. And Sullivan putting one on the back of the net, too. I believe that was number four for a 4-2 win for the Phoenix Coyotes. I had Walt uh, in Atlanta. And boy, he was one of my favorites. He, you talk about a guy that played hard all the time. 50 goals. How many 200 penalty minute seasons did he have as well? One of the last Warriors. Chance in front, and that goes just wide of the mark. Aaron Palusha. Now this one is blocked out high. Pacioretty will play it in behind the net. Darsh cut off. Now Lars Eller going after it, and it'll be played in behind the net by Keith Yandel. I say we erase that 1998 memory here tonight. He's backing over the line. Whitney has it. Whitney going to try to pull the trigger, and that one just caromed off a of body and wide. Right back it over the line and trying to go wide that time. Smith, no problem there. Gianta looks to set it up for Papanitz. This is the big line out right now for the Canadians and head coach Jacques Martin. Turnover. Mullen gives it to Placanitz. Now Placanitz going in behind the net. Back of the line, Diaz, now Placanitz with it. All sorts of room. Hal Gill sent one right to the net. Loose in the crease, and it's going to be cleared by Klesla. Even Hal Gill getting involved. Running around, Hal Gill with a shot, and that's covered up by Smith, and he wants a, a fresh set of uh, troops out there, and so he'll get a faceoff. Uh, that's a big freeze there, and again, turnovers for the Coyotes led to all those opportunities. Good read by the goalie. Uh, great read. Freeze that puck, calm things down, but there's a look at Mikhail Bodker. Had a real strong game here tonight. We talked about the reward system also getting on the board early. Bodker got the first goal of the hockey game, four shots. Seems like he's been all over offensively. Carey Price done a pretty good job for the Canadians. Out of the zone and flipped along, back in over the line, Chipchura. Don't forget it was Kyle Chipchura who was uh, drafted by these Canadians back at the beginning of his playing career in the NHL. Eric Cole can't advance it. And now Chipchura in the corner. Yeah, arguably his uh, best game since uh, rejoining the Coyotes. In a battle with Pacioretty, he'll try to work it up, and now Mikel Bodker will get help from Torres as they bring it across and now Chip Tura will dump it deep. Ekman Larson this time in on the four check. Now right back to center ice. Eric Morris that time stepping right in the middle of the Canadians player Aaron Pelusha and that forces it all the way back up the ice. The Coyotes have to be a little bit smart. Ekman Larson getting in on the four check. No real not a good choice to jump in almost led to an odd man attack. But hustle that time by Shane Doan forcing Subban. And now the other way goes Matthew Darsh. And behind the net, Yandel will chase one down. And up the left wing as O'Sullivan turned it over. Look out here. Over the line. Palushai got lit up that time by Morris. Oh, back to the gym. Have a seat. And the Wolverine is put on his wallet. And now out of the kept at the line momentarily could keep that time and it's turned the other way as Cal O'Reilly tried to advance it. I think Derek Morris has seen that move before. You're not going to beat that veteran. Now Shane Doan. Left wing corner works into the middle looking for Hansel that time. Hansel got upended. No penalty called. So Sullivan goes after it. Marty Hansel. Looking around, looking for help, but he lost it. Rolled right off his stick to Placanitz. 
And the Canadians will loft this one right back in over the line. Gianta checked off the puck, so Hansel quickly back the other way. Gives it to Verbata. The trailer is Whitney, but they can't get it to him. Three Canadians come out, come all over the puck as Gianta will send one in. They try to get it out. Now this play is onside. They say it's onside. No offside here. A chance. Cole and a stop that time by Smith that he holds on. Oh, that one kind of trickled off him. And what a chance, but you got to go back to that hit Derek Morris just said. You got to love it. Derek Morris sees this one coming. Read it like a book. Tries to cut inside. Have a seat. A nice job defensively by the Coyotes. Mike Smith on that last one. Threw it right up the gun. Big Hal Gill, 75 for the Canadians. Picked it out of midair. And a clean shaven Derek Morris, by the way. He's got the November mustache going. It's clear back out. Under two minutes remaining in regulation. Boyd Gordon with a chance. Brings it back and over the line. A shot hit the outside. Carey Price and a big rebound. Ekman Larson now. Works it down low. Pyatt. He'll try to get it in front for Korpakoski. Maybe the Corpedo has a, a game winner in his stick here tonight. Tyson. He's been a little quiet here in this hockey game. Eric Cole the other way. Now Cole brings it back and over the line. Pacioretty, his shot wide of the mark. And Taylor Pyatt will flip it out and all the way back. A minute 15 to go. You got to be very careful with where you put that puck. Chipchura over the line, looking for room. Chipchura, wrister in and stopped by Price, and we get a whistle. Well, oh, this shows the faith and confidence Dave Tippett has in his fourth line here tonight, the last minute of the hockey game. They're out on the ice, and they get a scoring chance. Nice job by Chipchira. Nothing fancy. Throw it right into the pillows of Carey Price. Everybody goes to the net. Face off to the right of goaltender Carey Price. We're down to a minute four remaining. Rafi Torres at 550 of the third got the game tied up. The Coyotes trying to battle back here tonight after falling behind 2-1 to the Canadians. Schlemko and now Klesla. And for all practical purposes, we're in overtime right now as this one's lofted into the neutral zone. And back in goes Torres. Rafi Torres looking to set it up. Down low into the corner it goes. And in behind the net. Chip Chura to the front, and Torres was there, but they can't set him up. Bodker now gives it off. Schlemko looks, he shoots, stop, rebound. They jam away at it, and they can't put it home. Oh, and P.K. Shaban up the ice. Chip Chura, what an opportunity. Schlemko just throwing that puck on net. Again, that fourth line really causing havoc for this Montreal Canadiens team. Cal O'Reilly has it. Now he'll flip it along, and out of the zone it goes that time. Back at center. Now Adrian Acoin tries to get it inside the zone, but it's turned the other way. Two back, no problem for the Coyotes, and this game is headed to overtime. So Tyson, credit the Coyotes for getting the Torres equalizer, and they're guaranteed at least one point. No, that's huge, and here's that last chance. There's Chipchura, throws it to the front of the net. Bodker jumps on it. And there's Slemko. Sneaking down the back door. And again, Chipchura right there on the doorstep. But you have to go back to the second period. Missed opportunities for the Phoenix County. Pyatt had a couple opportunities. Torres with his opportunities as well. And then that O'Sullivan missed breakaway. But Kerry Price done a real good job for his Montreal Canadiens club holding the fort, weathering this late storm. How about 43 scoring opportunities in this uh, hockey game here tonight? Shots right now favoring the Canadians 35 34 as we get set for the overtime. And uh, Tyson, you are between the benches tonight, so you've heard a lot of things. Uh, give us the pulse right now as we head to the overtime down there. Well, everyone's feeling uh, pretty good, obviously. The Phoenix Coyotes back in this hockey game. That late goal by Rafi Torres. So a huge two po one point already. But they're looking for two, boys. On home ice, we talked about the road trip coming up. Five-game road trip, probably the toughest of the season. 
So these, uh, this extra point here tonight is huge. And we get set for the second period. By the way, those uh, glasses are killer. <laughs> killer like or them. killing you? No, they're killer. They look good. Spoken from a guy that wears glasses. Comes with the nose and mustache, too. <laughs> A lot of Canadians fans and even an Expos hat here and oh my goodness the whale seeing a little bit of everything here tonight cue the brass bonanza well, that'll get Dave Tippett excited yeah that's <laughs> right and John Anderson whale team yeah and Randy Latasur who is an assistant coach along with another whaler Randy Cunnyworth uh, behind the Canadians bench okay the OT records there they are and here we go for a little four on four you can have a Whalers reunion down at the locker room area. <laughs> I don't even think about that. <laughs> Gonna be hugging it out after this one. Hansel out there to start the overtime with uh, Verbata, Schlemko, and Klesla. You were saying, Tyson? Sorry, again, I can't emphasize enough how important this extra point is. The Coyotes have lost a few of these. Two in particular, the Dallas Stars. This one is huge. Played right back it over the line. Verbata sideswipe to Subban check. Oh, and he just crushed Georges. Georges looking for a penalty. Placanitz over the line. That looked offside, but play rolls on. Into the corner, Kless look. Good stick there as he moves it up for Martin Hansel. Hansel couldn't get it out, and this one into the bench, and so we'll get a whistle and a stoppage. Well, Marty Hansel, uh, he gets it, and then he pays it back. Nothing wrong with that one. Martin Hansel's just a big body. George was down low to make sure he got that puck out of harm's way, and Hansel just finishes his check. He might have been a little more embarrassed than anything. That's why he was complaining to the referee. 45 seconds gone in overtime here tonight. Each team guaranteed a point. You know, there's really nothing holding back here because it's an inter-conference matchup, so it's not like you're Giving away a point to the enemy, so to speak, as Spacek will play it away. Dayarnay keeps Pacioretty now. Looking around, got it to the front. Here's a chance off the bar. Yannick Weber, oh, man. Oh, did he pull the trigger on that one? That was a ripper. What a chance that time for the defenseman as it's played away. Back of the line it goes. Diaz's shot is blocked away, and a chance. Nope, this one. Is that my feet? <laughs> is right down. Tyson, you got one. I got one. Souvenir. But there was the crossbar. Just rips it right off the pipe. You know, take a listen here. And he pulls it in and lets it fly. That was a laser beam right there. Beats Mike Smith. Free and clear. Coyotes will look to move it up the ice and out of the zone for Mikel Bodker. Three Canadians all over him. Good job of the defensive blue line by Montreal that time to break it up. And Lars Eller quickly up on right wing. No problem there for Ekman Larson, but following up and a shot to go, and the Canadians have won it. Josh George is in overtime. And so that streak since 1998 continues. Well, I guess Josh Georges gets the last laugh here on this one. And that is our CenturyLink high speed play of the game. He just walks into this one. You'll see him creeping up the boards. Three Coyotes go to one Montreal Canadian. Leaves Georges all alone. Posted in. Game over. Well, a tough one here as Josh Georges skated in and buried one. And, uh, well, Tyson, they get the point. They would have liked to have had the two uh, as they head out on the road trip. Yeah, without a doubt, that is a huge point nonetheless. But they're going to learn something from this. You can't take your foot off the gas. I think they allowed the Montreal Canadiens back in this game, missed opportunities, and it ended up costing them. All right, Canadians win it in overtime 3-2. Let's get you to Coyotes Club South and Jody Jackson. It's time for Coyotes Live, presented by CenturyLink, and it starts right now.